Today I will be redrawing one of my first digital drawings ever. I probably made this when I was 14, when I had just received a pen tablet for the first time and wanted to draw. <coughs> Hot man. Uh, his nose is completely out of place. Maybe someone slapped him a little too hard and it dislocated it. His necks and shoulders look too linear and stiff. His neck and his jaw are fused together and... Worst of all, I didn't attempt to finish it. I just gave up on the messy sketch face. What an absolute chicken. Well, his hair has curves and volume, so plus one point for that. But it's overall an okay 2.5 out of 10 attempt. I'm being generous here. So we are gonna create a new file and just leave the reference over here. And we'll start with a circle. Across, the outlines of the face and then the ear. I'll try to make the pose look as much as the reference as possible. But he looks kinda stiff in the old version. He looks startled with something. So I'll make the new drawing face the other way while his body is positioned forward. As if someone had called him. Then draw the eyes and he raised the guidelines. Once he's a complete bald man, we can start drawing his hair since I don't wanna leave him bald this time. I like to start with the bangs if the character has it and then outline the shape of the hair then draw more shapes coloring everything with a base color which will normally be a darker color of the skin tone of your choice i also try putting on glasses on him does he look good no no never mind i might add them later let's just color the eyes for now i'll put a multiply layer over everything just to blend it together and then add more shadows it's easier to start rendering with a mid-tone instead of a lighter tone and it just looks more aesthetic see Look at the difference. Even if the character has light skin, doesn't mean that you'll have to make their skin blind people's eyes. We're gonna add a little bit of warm tone with an overlay layer and try to change the mood of the picture. Now let's draw the neck muscles. Men have those things on their necks too. Um, Adam Zeppel? Yeah, you draw that little bump in the neck and also those V-shaped muscles too. To make him look like a man. Yeah. We're gonna add a little bit of blush. It's a lazy way of showing people that he's alive. Because corpses don't blush. As far as I know, he is one of the most interesting part of coloring, which is just adding shadows and volume everywhere. See how his hair looks more round and fluffy now? Mm hmm, you can almost touch it. For the hair highlights, hair light. For the hair highlights, one cool trick is just to add a light color and then put a darker color around it. Kind of like how metal appears when they reflect light. Now it looks shiny. Yeah, it looks good. We're gonna do this same thing with the rest of the hair and then magically the hair is done. I still have one thing to worry about though. Those thin lips. I'm very traumatized by lips. Don't take it out of contest. Because for many years I couldn't draw men with thicker lips without making them look... um way to yesified so we'll have to rely on an expert in the thick lips field and that is of course no one other than colleen yay okay master teach me mm -hmm. mm. uh-huh Ooh. okay i think i got this uh he looks like a really sad emo you know I've been drawing his lips for way too long, 20 minutes for now. I'm kinda sick of it. I'ma remake his eyebrows until I feel inspired again. Okay, back to the lips. Um, uh, you know what? It's fine like this. Let's just add some dramatic lighting to cover my weakness. Nice. I'm sorry, Colleen. I couldn't make the lips as juicy as you have taught us. I have failed you, juicy lips master. What if I try putting on glasses one more time? Mm, oh, not... Not bad. <laughs> okay, there you go. So to my 14 year old self, here's the hot guy that you were trying to draw. You're welcome. So in total, I spent 30 minutes sketching, three and a half hours coloring, but two of those hours were just spent on the lips. That turned out not as juicy as I expected to be. This is not a masterpiece by any mean, but I do think I got better. This wasn't really a tutorial. I, it was more like a walkthrough of my process. That skips many, many steps. But let me know if you guys would like an actual tutorial next time. Subscribe so I can improve and make more simple characters and have a good day. Bye.